Hey, uh, I wanted to do a review on the Motorola Zoom, um, specifically for medical students or college students um, doing science curriculum. Um, I got this computer almost two weeks ago, and I'm totally in love with it, but it definitely has um, some cons that are pretty big, um, and I just wanted to go over those with you before you went out and purchased one of these for yourself. So, um... The first con, I mean, the first thing you want to know when you're buying a tablet is how does it type. Um, this one, it types pretty good. It type, I tried the iPad too, and it types faster than that. But the keyboard is really small, um, so it's kind of hard to type. If you have big fingers, I wouldn't recommend getting one of these. Or if you get one, you can buy the keyboard. Keyboard costs about sixty dollars, um, so you could check that out. Um, on eBay or whatever. So here's the keyboard and you know you can go typing and um, you know as you type it tries to guess what word you're trying to type. So that's pretty cool. And you can also um, if you're typing medical words in you can also save the words into the dictionary. The only problem with the medical words is that you have to turn spell check off because if you, you know, start typing medical words, it'll automatically switch them to like common words. So then when you go back to read your notes, they don't make any sense. Um, the other downside of this is that there's no real way to like stand it up. Um, so when you're at school and you're typing on your desk, your head ends up going down like this. And then you'll be typing like that, and then you realize it makes your neck hurt a lot. They do sell um, a $60 stand. It's like a charging stand, and it holds your computer straight up. Um, I don't know. That plus the keyboard is an extra $120. So from $600 to $720 just to get accessories that I think should come with the computer, but that's just me. Um... The other downside is that nobody's made a stylus app yet, so there's no way for you to physically write on the tablet, but I do hear that there's a couple people working on it, um, so hopefully we'll get that in the future. Um, there are a lot of really cool free apps. I downloaded one app where you can actually see the 3D body. You can go through the layers, muscles, bones, nerves, arteries. That was free. It's called Body. Um, I also downloaded a 3D representation of the brain where you can um, look up the different functions of the brain and like the different abnormalities and how that um, translates into the body and the psyche. Um, it does have a, a tons of uh, flashcard programs um, for people who like flash um, flashcards. It has mind mapping programs. I've used ThinkSpace. I'm pretty happy with it. The only problem is, is that you can't um, sync it onto a desktop. You can only sync it onto a phone. Um, it is really, really lightweight. It weighs about a pound. So I usually just wrap it up in a little um, shawl that I have laying around and I just carry it around like a book. It fits perfectly into my purse. Um, it fits into your backpack. It's really sturdy. Um, I don't really think you would need to buy the protection plan for it. It's made with Gorilla Glass, so that's not going to break. Um, unless you're clumsy and you spill liquid on it. But um, I have, you know, had some little specks here and there of liquid, and it hasn't done anything to the screen. Um, the other really cool thing that I do like for students is if um, you're already on Gmail, you're on um, the Google Calendar, you love YouTube, this has all that integrated on here. So, for example, my favorite widget is the calendar widget. So you can actually scroll. I hope you can see that. You can actually scroll through um, your schedule. And if you click onto here, it brings you right into, um, into your Google Calendar. It also has uh, Gmail already in there. So that's pretty awesome. Um... So yeah, if you guys have any more questions, um, just put them down below. One more thing I wanted to tell you, the, the big reason why I'm returning, probably returning this, is that you can't open two programs in the same window. What does that mean? So I can't have PowerPoint on this side and then open Internet Explorer on this side. 
you do have a nice toggle option, you know, so you can toggle from your mind map um, to your Gmail to whatever, to your brain app, whatever. Um, but for me personally, I need to be able to look at my teacher's notes and type into a different document, like a Word document, at the same time, and I can't do that with this. So unfortunately, I think it's got to go back to Best Buy. But it is an amazing computer. I so recommend it, and if I could afford two computers right now, I would totally keep this one. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions, and happy computer shopping.